Problem 1. A ball is thrown skywards with an initial vertical velocity of 24 meters per second and an initial horizontal velocity of 10 meters per second. Ignore air resistance. What is the initial velocity of the ball? So may given tayong initial vertical velocity or VOY, 24 meters per second. Meron din tayong initial horizontal velocity, 10 meters per second. Pukunin natin yung initial velocity. So meron tayong equation na VOY is equal to VO sin theta. Makukuha natin yung VO over sin theta. Dito din, sin theta. Ito yung initial vertical velocity. Meron din tayong VOX is equal to VO cosine theta. Divide cosine theta. Divide cosine theta. Cancel. Ito din, cancel. Equate natin to since the same sila VO or initial velocity. So, VOY over sin theta is equal to VOX over cosine theta. So, cross multiply, giging VOX sin theta. Dito naman, VOY cosine theta. Gusto ko to i-divide sa VOX. So, VOX din dito. Then, cosine theta dito para makancel yung cosine theta. Cancel naman yung VOX dito. So, meron tayong cosine theta dito. So, ito, sine theta over cosine theta. Diba? Tangent theta siya. Ito naman, VOY over VOX. So, tangent theta is equal to 24 over 10. So, given. So, arc tangent, 24 over 10 yung theta mo. So, theta is equal to 67.38 degrees. So, meron tayong initial velocity na VOY over sine theta. So, VO is equal to VOY ay 24 over sine 67.38 degrees. Ibig sabihin, ang initial velocity natin ay 26 meters per second. So, ito yung sagot. Pwede na natin madrawing yung projectile. Yan. Ito yung initial velocity na 26 meters per second. Ang angle natin ay 67.38 degrees. So, letter B, how long does the ball take to reach its maximum height? Dito. Sabihin natin, from initial point, papunta dito sa maximum height, T1. So, at maximum height, Vy is equal to 0. So, Vy is equal to Voy minus Gt. So, 0 na to. Voy natin ay 24 minus 9.8. T. T is equal to 24 over 9.8. Formula transformation. Ang T natin ay 2.45 seconds. Ito yung sagot natin sa letter B. Or pwede rin yung equation natin, drive equation na VO sin theta over G. So meron tayong VO 26 sin 67.38 over 9.8. Sagot natin dito ay 2.45 seconds din. So, the same sila. Sa so letter C natin, what is the maximum height reached by the ball? So, Y max, initial velocity Y at time 1, kasi maximum yun, minus 1 half G T1 squared. Yung T1 natin ay 2.45. Substitute natin. Yung VOY natin ay given 24 times 2.45 minus 1 half times G. So, 4.9 na lang siya times 2.45 squared. So, ang y max natin, equivalent siya sa 29.39 meters. Pwede rin yung derive na formula ng y max natin, yung vo squared sine squared theta over 2g. So, substitute mo yon yung initial velocity natin na nakuha kanina, 26 squared sine squared 67.38 over 2 times 9.8. Ang sagot dito ay the same. 29.39 meters. Okay. Letter D. How far does the ball land from the thrower? So, ito yung range or yung x max. Formula lang nito ay VOX times time total. Sabi natin na T2. Kunan mo na natin yung time total. Makukuha siya using yung formula na. Dito sa point na to, ang y natin dyan ay 0. So, substitute natin dito, 0 to. VOY natin given 24 T2 minus 
t2 squared, 1 half times 9.8. So factor out, labas ang t2 isa, 24 minus 4.9 t2. So t2 ay 0. And ito, so t2 is 24 over 4.9. Sagot natin dito ay 4.9 seconds. Yun yung time total. Then substitute na natin dito. Ang VOX natin ay given kanina. 10 meters per second. So 10 times 4.9. Sagot natin dito ay 49 meters. Yung range natin. Pwede rin yung derived formula. Range ay VO squared sin 2 theta over G. Meron tayong initial na nakuha kanina na 26 ito. 26 squared sine, yung theta natin ay ito, 67.38 times 2 pa to, sine 2 theta over 9.8. So, ang range natin dito ay 49 meters din. The same sila. Problem 2. Jasmine threw a stone on the top of Mount Amitinan with a horizontal velocity of 8 meters per second. After 9 seconds, it hits the ground. Find the height of Mount Amitinan and the total horizontal distance of the stone. So sketch natin siya. For example, ito yung Mount Pamitinan. Si Jasmine, bumato siya ng stone horizontally. Yan. So ang project tayo lang makikreate pa ganun. So ito ang VOX natin. Ito ay 8 meters per second. Since VOX siya, so lahat ng horizontal component natin dyan, the same lang din sa initial velocity, horizontal, or VOX. So since horizontal siya, ang angle natin ay 0 degree. So ang VOY natin dyan ay 0. Tapos may equation tayo, yung Y max, or yung height. Napin natin yung height ng Mount Pamitinan. So, may formula siya na Vy times time minus 1 half gt squared. May given tayo na time na 9 seconds na na-reach na yun yung ground. Ito yung ground. So, makukuha natin yung height. Since ang Vy natin ay 0, wala na to. So, minus 1 half times 9.8 times 9 squared. So, ang y natin or yung height ay negative 396.9 meters. So, may negative siya kasi downward kasi yung movement natin. So, ang height talaga natin ay 396.9 meters. So, ano naman yung range? Ang range, dito from starting point, final point, ito yung range or yung x. Makukuha siya using VOX times time, total, pampunta dito. Given to, given na rin yung VOX, to ay 8 times 9 seconds, to ay 72 meters.